questions about the security stuff, so back to that. Okay. So I was also curious about when there is a, sec a security flaw, when one of those problems exists, where is that, um, the, like, the chink in the armor, the, 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 where, where do they get you? Is it the server? Is it your device? Is it the network? Like, if you're at a cafe and it's a public network that mm -hmm. other people, just strangers, are using this network, do they get to your information security flaw? Are you vulnerable in what way? How? So the most common form of being hacked is uh, somebody getting access to your device or to your um, social media or um, uh, whatever login that you're being hacked from, uh, usually through a phishing scam. So your username and password. Or, yeah, they, they find a way to find your username and password and uh, log in. But do they it. do that? Like, obviously, if they pick up your device and you have it saved, they wouldn't necessarily know what it is, but they could get into your account, potentially card yeah. information. But what about, like, the networks? Like, if you're sitting at a cafe so or... It is possible for people to, if uh, you have an open connection to the network that you're in and somebody is also there that is um, capable of uh, hacking into your device... Um, there's there's been uh, security flaws even in Bluetooth where people just have Bluetooth on but not connected to anything, and people have been oh. finding ways to access devices through there. Because then they like link their devices. Yeah, and uh, to yours, and then they can get even like your browser history and information. Um, I'm not sure how much Bluetooth can access. I uh, don't know, but uh, in theory. Um, if they, once they have connection to your device, uh, you, they, and, uh, they know the proper coding to, um, tell the device to do whatever it needs it to do, they, they can do, they can get, do some damage. And, uh, same thing with, uh, if they hack into your computer through the network, like generally they can find your IP address on a network. That's not, uh, if they're, especially if they're on the same network as you. That's not too terribly hard. And if they are able to find some way to uh, get the device to connect to theirs and uh, they can get control and access to it. Can you set up so that you need to agree to, whoops, to connect things via Bluetooth? Or is that not really? Generally, the best thing to do, especially since right now Bluetooth is uh, pretty limited in its scope, is. Um, since right now, especially one thing connects at a time, if you're not connected to something via Bluetooth, turn it off. Turn it off. Okay. That's okay, the that makes sense. best way to Easy do that. Easy enough. And you just pull down quick. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, I think Bluetooth is generally a setting on most phones that you can just do through the pull down settings or pull up settings if you're on iPhone. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, most common version is uh, like a phishing scam where they get you, uh, they get your uh, login information somehow. Don't answer those <laughs> unsolicited emails you're saying. Yeah. And then... Uh, Never give your social. Yeah. Uh, okay. Probably, uh, it's very uncommon for somebody to hack you through like in a network or in a building like that. It, re it requires a lot of things to actually come together. Um in order for that to happen. Uh, generally, the other attacks uh, come in on the uh, company side. So a lot of times you've heard probably of the data breach that Target has had a few years back. Um, and other stores, uh, they, they found a way into uh, the Target's uh, credit card um, merchant account. And they were able to get a list of credit cards and things. So if you bought anything within like three years of, or something at Target, they probably had your account information. And there's ultimately like uh, people will upgrade their security and companies will upgrade your security. But um, there's a, like there, there's always a chance of that happening. What's helpful with that nowadays is the chip card readers on your credit card, since when you use that. It doesn't actually give your credit card information to the store. It gives a uh, what is called a token, and that token is uh, represents a, a code between 
the bank and the merchant account so that they agree that this is a, a official card it's you know a proper card and uh that then the funds are get exchanged through that and it's more like a one time yeah the token is ran uh, like a randomly generated number essentially and they um yeah so those are the main um ways that it do it like but in general if you, you got hacked you probably gave out your account information somehow some way if you got hacked yeah if you got hacked that's you could bet that it, they got a hold of your account information somehow 